Hello, in today's class, the chapter that we are learning is function keys. On your keyboard, the very first row from F1 to F12 keys are called the function keys, and each key has its own different specific set of functions that it performs. And these functions of function keys are subject to the operating system that your computer has and the application or software that you are using. So the functions of these function keys changes with the operating system and the application of the software that you use. To understand that, let's take examples like uh, this F2 key. F2 key is used to rename any file, folder or document's name in Windows. But the same F2 key is used to open the language options in Linux operating system. The next example that is of F5 key. F5 key is used to refresh or reload the Google Chrome, the Mozilla Firefox, Opera Mini, right? But the same F5 key is used to open the Find, Replace and Go To dialog box in Microsoft Word. So, with operating systems and the applications, the functions of different keys changes. Now, the all functions of this function keys with all operating systems, all applications and softwares, it's, you know, quite a long list to compile. So, we will be learning only a few specific functions and a few universal functions of these function keys. So, let's do that. The first one is F1 key. F1 key is known as the help key universally. You know, whenever in whichever operating system or in whichever document or application, if you press F1 key, the help center of that specific application or operating system will be open. So, if I press F1 in this PowerPoint, it will show me the PowerPoint help. Okay. Now, if I press the F1 in this word document, it will show me the word help. If I press the F1 in Google Chrome, it will take me to the Google help. Now, if I press the F1 on the desktop, it will show me the Windows Help and Support Center. Now, if I want to open this Windows Help and Support Center while the another application is active, when I'm working on another application like this on Word, if I want to open this Windows Help and Support Center, then what I have to do is press the Windows key or the Start key and simultaneously press the F1 key. So, here is our Windows Help and Support Center. Now, our next key, sorry, our next shortcut for F1, that is Shift plus F1. That is for this word, document specifically. So, if I press Shift plus F1, it will direct me to this reveal formatting dialog box, which will reveal, if I select this text, it will reveal the formatting of this text. It will show the technical details like font, paragraph, alignment, spacing, line spacing, that way. Now, the next key is F2 key. And F2 key, like I have said before, it is used to rename any document, any file, any folder. So if Right now, I'm on this document. I've selected this document icon, and if I press F2, it will give me the rename option. I can give it any other name which I like. Same goes for this F2. Now, for any file or document, if I press F2 again, rename option again, rename option. So, this is how this F2 and rename option works. Now, the next function is in word that is alter plus control plus f2 and it will open the open dialog box to open any file of word so this kind of substitute for control plus o right now the next function that is control plus f2 
and it will open the print preview. So this control plus F2 is substitute for control plus P. Okay. Now the next is F3 key and F3 key in word we can change the case from uppercase to lowercase, from lowercase to uppercase, any selected text with the help of F3. What you have to do is select this text and press shift plus F3. With the uppercase, again shift plus F3, lowercase, again shift plus F3 and this is the formal one. The first letter of each sentence is capital and the rest are small. So this is how this F3 key works in Word. Now, our next key is F4 key. Uh, for that we will need to go to Internet Explorer. Here, my cursor is in this search toolbar. Okay, and if I press the F4, it will direct me to the address bar. So my cursor will be directed to the address bar. Wherever I am in this window of Internet Explorer, if I press F4, it will direct me to the address bar. And this is specific for this Internet Explorer only. It will not work in any other browser. Now, the next function of F3 key in Word is, if you press F4 key, it will repeat the last action that you have performed. So, suppose I have pressed the Enter, okay? And if I press now F4 key, it will do the Enter thing again. Because that was the last function that I performed. Now, if I copy this calculator, Control C and Control V, okay? Now, if I press F4, it will repeat my last action that was to paste. It will paste it again, again, again. See? So this is how the F4 key with word works. Now, the next function that is the universal one that is Alter plus F4. It will close down any window that you are working on. So right now I'm working on this Microsoft Word document. If I press Alter plus F4, it will give me option if I want to save this document or not. If I say don't save, it will directly close down the window. See? Now, if I go to this Chrome, if I press Alter plus F4, it will close down this whole Chrome window. But there are four. Now, here, this is the software CC Cleaner. If I press the Alter F4, it will close down its window too. If I press Alter F4 here in this folders window, so it will close it down too. See? So this is how Alter F4 works. It will close down the main window that you are working on or rather it is activate right now. Now, the next one is Control F4 and again this is universal one too. Here we have so many tabs but if I want to close only this tab only and not the whole, whole window then I will press Control plus F4. It will close down the, the tab on which I was working or rather the tab which was activated. Again, if I press I'll Ctrl F4, it will close down this tab. So Ctrl F4, see? The same thing goes with the Word. Here, the main window is Microsoft Word and the secondary window on which we are working is this task pane. If I press Ctrl plus F4, it will close down the secondary window, which was the task pane. But the Microsoft Windows, the main window is still open. Okay. The same thing goes for PowerPoint and other softwares and applications too. Now, you must have understood the difference between Alter F4 and Ctrl F4, right? Alter F4 closes down the main window, okay? But the control, control F4 closes down the secondary window, which is in the main window, okay? The secondary window on which you are working. Now, the next 
key that is F5 key. Like I mentioned earlier, F5 key is used to do refresh. So if I press F5, it will refresh this page. Okay. Again, if I press the F5, it will refresh this Google page. In Word, this F5 is used If I press F5, it will direct me to the find, replace and go to toolbar or window. Now, this F5 is used to start a slideshow in Microsoft PowerPoint. So PowerPoint, if I press the F5, the slideshow has started. See? Again, I will use Alter F4 to close down this window. So Alter F4, like we have learned. Now, so this was all about F5. Now, the next one is F6. For that, we will go to Chrome. Yeah. Right now, my cursor is in the search box. Okay. If I press the F6, it will direct me to the address bar. And this is applicable to all other browsers too. So what was the difference between the F4 keys function and F6 keys function? In F5, in F4 keys function, it was applicable to the Internet Explorer only. But this F6 function is applicable to all other browsers too. In any of the browser, whether it is Mozilla Firefox or Opera Mini, it will always direct you to the address bar if you press F6. Now, the next key is F7 key. F7 key is used to do the spelling and grammar check. So, F7 key. Here, the spelling and grammar check dialog box. Now, there is another function of F7 key that is shift plus F7. If I press shift plus F7, it will direct me to this research box. It is kind of thesaurus check in word. Um, like if I am selecting a word that is between, I am selecting this word and then I am pressing shift plus F7, it will show me the all synonyms of this word between in the dictionary available to the Microsoft Word. Okay, so this is how this shift plus F7 works in Word. Now, our next key is F8 key. The demonstration of F8 keys function is not possible because this F8 key is used to go to in safe mode. Uh, when your booting process is going on a computer, when you start your computer, there is a process uh, that is called booting process, right? So if you press F8 key in between, then it will direct you to the option when you can, where you can choose whether you want to start your computer in safe mode or normally, or you want to start your computer in safe mode with networking. So this kind of options it will give you F8 key. If you press F8. In between the booting process. Now, our next key is F9 key. Like I said, F9 key is used to refresh a document in Word. So if I press F9, here, just look at the mouse pointer, it is showing the symbol of F9. See? So this is how it works. And F9 key is used to send and receive emails in Outlook too. Now, our next key is F10 key. F10 key is used to highlight the menu bar of any of the window open. So, if I press F10, here, the menus of this word is highlighted. Now, if I press the same in this PowerPoint, same thing, the menu bar is highlighted. Now, if I press this in this folder, so if I press F10, the menu bar is shown. So this is how it works. Now, there is another function 
that is shift plus F10. If you press shift plus F10, shift plus F10, what it has done? It has shown the drop down menu which you can get by the right click of the mouse. Okay, so it's kind of substitute for the right click of mouse. Shift plus F10. So here, if I'm pressing Shift plus F10, it is again showing the same option which I might have got by pressing the right click of mouse. Just here, right click of the mouse. Same drop down the menu. Okay. So this is how it works. And it is applicable to all applications. Now, our next key is F11 key. F11 key is used to enter and exit, enter and exit the full screen mode of the browsers. Here, in this browser, if I press F11, the full screen mode. If I press F11 again, exit. Of the full screen mode and it is applicable to all browsers. Okay, now the F11 key is used to highlight the hyperlink in the Word document. If I press F11 here, our first hyperlink, if I press it again, it will direct me to the next hyperlink. So if I keep on pressing it, it will direct me to the next and next and next hyperlink. Next, next, next. So this is how it works. Now, the uh, last key that is F12 key. F12 key is used as so many shortcuts in Word document. So, here is our Word document. Um, if I press just F12, it will direct me to the save as dialog box. Okay. Now, there is another shortcut that is Control plus F2. If I press Control plus F2, F12, sorry, Control plus F12, it is substitute for Control plus O. Okay, it will open the open dialog box to open any Word document. Now, there is another one that is Shift plus F2, and it is substitute for Control plus S. It will save your document, save any changes in your document. That is not that noticeable, but still we will do it. That is shift plus F12. See, not noticeable, but yes, it works like control plus S. And the last one is control plus shift plus F12. So that is equal to control plus E. It will show you the print preview. So control plus shift plus F12. Here is our print preview. So this is how this function keys works in combination with other keys or they can work independently too. And there are so many uh, different shortcuts with the help of function keys and so many other functions in so many applications but it's not possible to summarize all the functions of these function keys. So this is the end of this chapter. and. The specific shortcuts of words, PowerPoint, for that a different session will be conducted. Thank you.